President Joe Biden will welcome Cardinal Matteo Zuppi to the White House tomorrow. Zuppi, the Archbishop of Bologna, Italy, is Pope Francis's peace envoy. Biden and Zuppi will discuss the widespread suffering caused by Russia's war in Ukraine and humanitarian aid efforts. This is part of the Cardinal's three-day visit to Washington, D.C. this week. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, Cardinal Matteo Zuppi's visit is today through Wednesday. He's already met with officials in Russia and Ukraine. And now, along with trying to restore peace, reuniting families. As the Biden administration signs off on giving Ukraine cluster bombs, this U.S. military training video demonstrating their destructive capacity. Cardinal Matteo Zuppi, a veteran of the Catholic Church's peace initiatives, seen here celebrating Mass in Moscow last month, has been tasked by Pope Francis to try to find paths of peace between the warring sides. The Holy See saying the visit aims to exchange ideas and views on the current tragic situation and to support humanitarian initiatives to alleviate the suffering of the most affected and most fragile people, especially children. Many children in Ukraine have been injured or killed in the fighting. Others have been abducted, a charge Russia denies. The trip to Washington follows Cardinal Zuppi's recent mission to Moscow, where he met with Patriarch Kirill, head of the Russian Orthodox Church, who has strongly supported the war. Zuppi also visited Kyiv. Meanwhile, Russia says it has a sufficient stockpile of cluster munitions and is threatening to use them if Ukraine uses them. But it's already been widely documented that both sides have used the cluster bombs. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan just yesterday saying... The cluster bombs have arrived in country. I don't have a report for you today as to whether they have actually been deployed at this point. But if they have not yet, they will be in the coming hours or days uh, because they have now very rapidly been uh, shipped into the fight. The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops imploring the weapons not be used, writing over 100 countries, including the Holy See, have signed the 2010 Convention on Cluster Munitions banning their use, recognizing their indiscriminate nature and risk to civilian populations long after fighting has ceased. The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops goes on to point out that both the United States and Russia have not signed the agreement, while also asking to pray for dialogue and peace. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.